isubusu ni lui baren na kesda tubo kini roti ni yare ibon anu de itolo toi keche ibaren lude gwele teke sane otomano karamoja ayangari kinga traders who buy cattle uh, from uh, nabela tuk na kapiripirita na amoda they have to use moroto road uh, and our verification center is at nadunget so all those animals coming from the other side of South Karamoja are supposed to be verified in Adunia to see that these animals are not the animals which are stolen because we have a, a number of people who are complaining and then uh, cattle from Kotido from Kotido markets traders are supposed to pass to Moroto which means they have to come up to Lopei Lopei they come up to Nadunia not doing it, they join, they go to Soroti after we have verified. And then the traders from Kabon, those ones can pass Karenga. If they are not going to Kitugu, then they will, they will pass via Kotido, uh, Moroto, then they go. When the government of Uganda decided to open more roads, as we are all aware, it became more difficult for central officers to maintain security because now there are more avenues for people to, to drive away. So each time the government is being productive, each time we give people more access, when we got more phones, the, the, the criminals also use those phones for communication. So we create problems when we try to be good and to try to work according to the manifesto of our government. All the animals that are raided in the entire Karamoja end up being loaded on trucks and transported. Where they transport them, I have no idea. Whether to abattoirs in Soroti, Mbale, or where, or at times I hear that some of these animals find themselves in in southern Sudan. We are not saying that we are going to eliminate completely commercialized rates, but we are going to reduce to a certain percentage because if we verify all the animals which are living in Karamoja, then to some extent we have to to commercialize rates. As uh, I reported last week that uh, through these checkpoints and these measures we have put, we have been able to recover over 300 animals uh, from, uh, from uh, uh, January up to now. We have been able to recover 300. If we put from July, from the time when we started the operation, it's about 3,600 animals. We have recovered uh, via uh, our ship for this. Ide cham sana mnyezda itoro ni tanu de ito litolo. Aika miyo naada ibare na nguna lude kokota ya neo otomano karamoja. You know Ugandans are Ugandans. They are very clever. They are even ahead of everybody. They can even create their own permits. They create their own permits. Originally, even the army used to have permits, travel permits for carrying animals. Moreover, with a letter written by the, the DVOs, and there they say, what? They, they say it is confidential. You see a permit, but written confidential, and you see the soldiers on top of those trucks. And to some extent, I must also say I am a victim the category three are some sections of the security forces, be it police or UPDF. UPDF, uh, even when the people say their livestock has passed here, they take a wrong direction. And uh, also because some of these wrong negative alliance elements have infiltrated into our forces. Godfrey Eyokum, TV East Karamoja.